Creative Church Flyer Design on Pixel Lab for Crossover Night 2024. Hello guys, season greetings. Welcome back to Don's Graphics Design. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this awesome crossover night flyer with the help of your Pixel Lab application. Don't go anywhere because this is coming up. Okay guys, so uh, in order to begin the design, let's go to the default page. Let me just save this one as a project. Right. Okay, I'm going to go now to my default page, so you can see what's happening. Now we have Pixel Lab default interface. Once you are here, you have your interface to start working on. And as usual, we're going to click to set the design size. So we're going with the size of 1024 by 1280. So we're using 1024 by 1280. Once you've achieved this, the next thing you want to do is to start bringing in the element. So before bringing the elements, I just love to change the background color to pure black and then subscribe to the channel to understand. After realizing this, we are going to go now to the middle button here and bring in the design images or the design element. So, okay, first of all, I have this one. Just going to crop it a little further like this. As you can see, this one is blurred. Okay, I decided to blur out this one. Just going to place this one here okay then i'm going to bring in the second one which is this also increase this in focus and position it here so i'm just going to make sure that um, the images are neatly positioned like so now what you're going to do uh, is to lock up these two images so we're logging them up okay as you can see after logging them up the next thing we want to do is to create a circle so go to shapes select a circle first of all reduce the opacity so look at the options reduce the field field color sorry the field opacity make it zero now come to stroke and make it increase it to 100 percent then what you are going to do is to reduce this shape a little further in size then now you increase it okay let's increase it so after increasing the size this way we're going to use lazy position to make sure that it's on the middle of our design then we change the color to white and after changing the color to white you want to lock this up now if you look carefully here you can see that uh, part of the images are still showing which we don't want okay so how can we adjust this problem we can just go to shapes select a simple square shape with the same white color copy we'll place this one here make a copy of it please subscribe to the channel and uh, happy new year to you all as well now we're going to be logging up these uh, sections okay Need to lock them up okay now we, we we can leave this one to to see how it looks but if it's not giving us the vibe we're still going to delete it and for these images you can check them on the link provided in the video description you can download it from there after you must have subscribed to the channel like the video drop your comments tell us where you are watching us from in this particular tutorial and after realizing this go back to shape select a simple a simple circle Increase this circle a little bit in size. Use lazy position to make sure it's also on the middle of your design page. Okay, now I think this one is not giving us the vibe, so we're going to cover that also. So just go and make a copy of these uh, shapes. Make a copy here. Yeah? Then you cover up this section as well. Now everything is locked up completely. After realizing this, we're going to bring in the crossover logo or it's more of uh, an icon a text icon so bring it here reduce it in size neatly so what we're going to do is to change the color to a gradient so go to color and click on gradients now I have a red and orange gradient which is this one let me just show you the color codes so for the red the color code is the red the color code is uh, 
let's check the color code for red the color code is d5200 then the orange of course which is the downer layer of the color shading is uh, orange is double f9700 for the color code and uh, we are using the inverted pattern of the second alignment color alignment okay you can actually swap the colors here depends on you so we change the color into this now what we're going to do is to reduce this a little bit and uh, use lazy position to make sure that it's on the middle of our work but then right now we're going to bring in the image of the uh, the pasta have the image of the pasta quickly i'm going to do that bring it uh, the image of the preacher okay so we crop the image and increase it in size and good let's position it just here like so now after realizing this let's lock this up and from that second that same icon we are going to bring in the church logo uh, like i said this program is for the world revival faith ministry it's the end of year <coughs> sorry about that guys. it's the end of year um crossover night event so we're going to position the church logo here at this position break it down a bit and as you can see this logo is just hanging right here which i do not like so i'm going to change the going to go to to shapes go to shapes select a circle then subscribe to the channel after you must have done that click on your check mark and you have a second circle here bring it right here use lazy position make sure it's on the middle then go to your layer click on layer and let's send back the shape to fall just directly below the logo and push it upwards now you can see that uh, the church logo is well confined on that shape which is actually making some sense now after realizing this what we're going to do next is to bring in the date okay guys so what we're going to do now is to write the date it's happening on the 31st of December 224 make it in caps and bring it here after bringing it here we're going to reduce it in size go to color and make it color black then go to your font then the font we are using is called the Montserrat uh, semi medium which is this one Montserrat semi medium click on it and let's reduce this in size use lazy position still then go back to shapes select a tiny square shape then what we're going to do is to reduce the opacity increase the stroke and let's see what happens so we leave the stroke at plus three because uh, we want it to accommodate this text right so we have 31st december 2024 for the cross overnight service so we're going to go back to shapes once again and uh, we're giving this shape now a green color bring it right down here then we leave it like that click on the new shape select a square a white colored square then you slant it this way
after slanting it go back to layer select the two and uh, you mesh them up so check here this is the point where you have to mesh them up now who can guess what we're going to do here we're going to go to erase color so we are on erase color click on erase color and it will automatically remove the white color increase your tolerance a little bit then reduce this text this shape sorry a bit after reducing the shape go to text copy this same 31st and write the time which is from 9 pm Use your releasing position to bring it closer to the shape and uh, what we are going to do is just to place it on top of this shape that we are just from creating. And right now we are going to change the color to pure white to make it more visible. So I have 9 pm and uh, what we are going to do next is to bring in the location icon as we bring in the location icon it's important to reduce its size then after reducing the size what we are going to do is adjust it properly once you are done adjusting once you are done adjusting go back to text and write the location so it's happening at uh, at the church premises at the church premises this time around i want to use a Ghanaian name church premises tamale i just love using these names uh, fictional flyer designs it's happening at uh, Tamale, Ghana. If you are from Tamale here, yeah, say hi in the comment section. We have been using a lot of Nigerian names. Uh, today we just decided to have a little uh, dive into the Ghanaian site. So say hi to all our followers from Ghana. Please kindly subscribe to the channel for more, more, more other amazing tutorials. Thank you so much. Now we're going to change the color of this text to black. <laughs> And uh, go to your fonts by using just Montserrat regular. Okay, you can use Montserrat medium. Sorry, by using Montserrat medium, click on OK and let's reduce the size of this text, make it four just into three beautiful lines. Then position it here neatly and uh, we're going to bring it closer to the location icon and what we're going to do now is to go to our layer and by clicking here you will be allowed to select all the elements you want to move so we want to move all the contact informations that are on this shape Okay, so I think I got that all and uh, I'm just going to centralize it somehow on this shape. All right, good. So everything is moving on as plant. One, you check and your design is moving on as plant. The next thing that you would love to do now is to bring in the name of the preacher. So this event will be happening with, uh, let's copy this other text to maintain the same font. Copy this text, double tap, tap, tap to write uh, with Pastor Sam, Adebi, 
and make it in capital letters so we're going to bring it down here break it into two beautiful lines reduce the size a bit have pastor salmon so half with pastor salmon a debbie all right good so just do the necessary adjustments make sure that this text is falling on the right place the cross overnight for the 31st of december 2024 uh, happening at the church premises tavale tamale in ghana with Pastor Sam at DBE for the World Revival Faith Ministry. So that's it for this church program flyer design for Cross Overnight. It was nice designing with you guys. Looking forward to seeing you in our next video. Happy New Year to you all. Oh, drop your comments where you're watching from and kindly subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. It's Stones Graphics.